Now let us understand the string concatenation. STRCAT function is used to concatenate the two strings here. So here concatenation means what? Attaching. So one string will be attached to the another string or the uh, concatenation can be uh, as uh, said to be joining the two strings here. The syntax is as follows STRCAT in the bracket STR1, STR2 close the brace semicolon here. So string 2 will be attached to the end of the string 1 here. For example, STRCAT in the bracket if I consider the string Bangalore then city. So here the city will be attached with the first string that is Bangalore. I will get the output as what? The Bangalore city. So this is this what? The string concatenation. So now let us understand this string concatenation using a built-in function that is STRCAT. Okay, let us understand a C program to perform the string concatenation using the built-in function STRCAT function here. So in this example, I am declaring the two string array as a str1 which is initialized to Bangalore. So str1 is initialized to Bangalore here and the str2 is initialized to city here. So I am going to concatenate, concatenate these two strings here, string 1 and string 2. So these two strings Bangalore and city need to be attached or combined each other. So that I need to get the output as what the Bangalore city here. By using the inbuilt function that is strcat function that is str1 and str2. So str2 is attached with the string 1 here, str1 here. Then using the printf statement concatenate, concatenate string is percentage s string 1. So I am going to print the string 1, the concatenated string that is the string 1 and the string 2 are concatenated each other. And I am getting the output as what? Bangalore city here. Okay, let us compile this program. Then run this program. I need to get the concatenated string as what? The Bangalore city. So here you can see the output as what? The concatenated string is Bangalore city. So this is how we are going to concatenate the two strings using the inbuilt function strcat function. Okay, let us understand the string concatenation without using the built-in function that is strcat function here. Okay, so as in the previous example, we have seen how we are going to concatenate the two strings using the built-in function. Now, we will see without using the built-in function, how we are going to join the two strings. Okay, so here concatenation means what? Joining or combining the two strings here okay so now let us understand the c program so here i have written the c program to concatenate the two strings without using the built-in function strcat function here so here i have included the two header files the standard input output then console input output then main function then here what i require the three array strings here okay one as the s1 s2 s3 okay so i'll read the two strings s1 and s2 then i'll join these two strings and i'll store into the s3 here okay suppose consider i have read the string one as what s1 is equal to hello and s2 is equal to s2 is equal to hi okay so i'll combine or i'll concatenate these two strings and I will store into the S3. S3 will be what? Hello. Hi. So, and finally, I will print this S3 here. So, this S3 will give the concatenation of two strings that is S1 and S2 here. Going further, so I will declare the three array strings that is S1, S2, S3. Okay. Then I will declare the two variables that is k1 and k and i here. Okay. Then I will print a message that enter the string 1 and string 2. Then read the two strings with the format specifier that is percentages 
and percentages then two strings so sorry here i need to include this statement as what s1 comma s2 s1 comma s2 so here i have declared the variable as s1 and s2 here so hence i need to declare s1 and s2 not str okay so next is what initialize the k value here okay so here i use the i variable to index s1 and s2 and k variable to index the s3 here okay we'll see later that is how we are going to index the k value so here i have read the two strings okay consider s1 that is s1 is equal to hello s2 is equal to hi now how these two strings will be stored into the array here s1 of 0 is equal to h s1 of 1 is equal to e s1 of 2 is equal to l s1 of 3 is equal to l s1 of 4 is equal to o s1 of 5 is equal to null character so this indicates what the end of the strings here now s2 consider s2 i have read as hi hi s2 of 0 is equal to h s2 of 1 is equal to i s2 of 2 is equal to null character that is the end of the string here so this is what hello hi and these characters are stored into the array likewise so this is index 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is index okay now coming to this for loop for i is equal to 0 i will initialize i is equal to 0 here then s1 of 0 is is not equal to is not equal to null character now see check out here s1 of 0 what is the value of s1 of 0 that is h it is not in a null character here so it is not equal to null character then s3 of i is equal to s1 of i so what is the value of s1 of i 0 that is h so h is copied into the s3 of i here now what is the s3 here s3 of 0 is equal to what h so s1 of 0 is copied into the s3 of 0 here okay now increment the value of k is equal to k plus 1 so this is the k variable is used to indicate the index of s3 okay now k value is what k is equal to 1 here so initial it is 0 so 0 plus 1 i'll get 1 here so k is equal to 1 next increment the value of i i plus i plus plus is there increment the value of i i is equal to 1 s1 of 1 s1 of 1 is what e not equal to null character right so the condition is true then s3 of i that is s3 of 1 is equal to s1 of i that is s1 of i is what e here so this e is copied into the s3 of 1 s3 of 1 is equal to e here now increment the value of k k is equal to k plus 1 now the k value will come as what k is equal to 2 here right next increment the value of i i is equal to what 2 here so s yes, 1 of 2 not equal to null character yes condition satisfied then s3 of i s3 of 2 is equal to s1 of 2 here s1 of 2 is what hello s3 is equal to s3 of 2 is equal to what l so l is copied into the s3 of 2 here so likewise now increment the value of k so k is equal to 3 here right now increment the value of i so i value become as what 3 here so uh, s3 of 3 is equal to s3 of s1 of 3 here so here what s3 of 3 is equal to what l then k is equal to 4 then increment the value of i so it is become 4 so s4 of 4 is equal to hello k is equal to 5 
okay next increment the value of i i value become 5 right then s5 of uh, s1 of 5 is not equal to null character now check out here so s1 of 5 is equal to null character here so the condition becomes false here now it will come out from this loop here getting my point now for i is equal to now i need to concatenate this s2 into with the s1 here i need to join this one right so i'll use s2 here now <clears throat> for i is equal to 0 s2 of 0 not equal to null character yes s2 of 0 is what h right the condition is true now s3 of k so what is the value of k that is 5 right so 5 S K S3 of 5 is equal to S2 of 0. So, this H is copied into the S3 of K. So, K is equal to what? 5 here. So, S3 of 5 is equal to what? S2 of I. So, I value is what? 0 here. So, S2 of 0 is H. So, H is copied here. Next, increment the value of I. Then K is equal to K plus 1. So, K is equal to 6 now. So increment the value of i right so now i is equal to 1 s2 of 1 not equal to null yes true then s3 of k s3 of 6 s3 of 6 is equal to what s2 of 1 so that is i okay now increment the value of i okay so i become a what 2 here s2 of 2 is equal to null character yes null character now come out from this loop then s3 of k so what was the k value there so k is equal to 7 so s3 of k is equal to null character we need to insert the null character at the end of the strings so now s3 of 7 is equal to null character here right then printf concatenated string is what percentages we need to print the value of s3 here so what is the s3 value here hello hi so this is what concatenating concatenating the two strings you without using the inbuilt function here i hope you understood how we are going how we are joining the two strings without using the built-in function that is str cat function here okay so thank you for watching this video